Okay, today we're going to do a simulated lab. And to get to the simulation, you are going to click on this link right here. And we'll click on acceleration. And maybe click it again. And here's basically the setup. You have an object sitting here. And you can apply a force to the object. Doop. Now one thing you might notice if I push with just a little bit of force, see how there's some friction there? This is kind of like when you, you, know, you push your chair, you push your desk, and you, if you push it a little bit, there's enough friction to keep it from moving. And so what's the net force there? Hopefully you got that the net force is zero. So we can show what the net force is by clicking this box that says sum of forces equals zero. And you'll see that that, if I push, 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 it's still zero until I get to a little bit bigger, right? When I get bigger, now I've got the sum of the forces to the right, and you can see that this thing accelerates to the right. Now, it'd be cool if I could see what the net force actually is. Whoa, that's weird, right? It's okay. So to see what the net force is, I can click on this button that says values, and it will show me the value of the net force. So here we go. And I'll push, push, push. And now you can see that my net force is the difference between the applied force and the friction force, right? So if I put 150 newtons of applied force and 94 newtons of friction force, I get 56 newtons of net force. Now, to make this calculation easier for us, let's do this. Here, let's stop, stop. See how that comes to a stop? Kind of neat, right? Um, it comes to a stop because of the friction force, but let's turn friction off. No friction. And now, if I apply a force to the box, doop, right? Now, when I apply a force to that box, the box accelerates. All right, so. <laughs> Pause. Another thing we can change here, so you can change the amount of force that you apply to this box, right? And let's keep the friction turned off so that the amount of force that we apply is the net force. And then you can also change the mass of the box by, you know, stacking boxes on top of each other or, you know, pushing a refrigerator instead of a box and whatnot. So you can change the net force as one of your independent variables. You can change the mass is one of your independent variables. I wouldn't recommend changing both of them at the same time because then you're not really doing a scientific experiment, are you? Right? So what you want to do is you want to change the net force and see how that affects the acceleration of your object. So let's click on this box here that says acceleration. And this will tell us which direction the box is accelerating and how much. So I can apply a net force. Sorry. I can apply a net force. Maybe not. Maybe we can reset this whole thing. There we go. So I'm going to click all these boxes here to show me all this information. Turn the friction off, and I can apply a little bit of net force, and I can measure my, you know, for example, I can measure my net force and measure my acceleration. That would be like one data point, right? And then I can just keep changing the net force, keep, um, keep measuring the acceleration. So that would be one experiment. Another experiment you could do, you could change what object you're pushing, right? Um, so you could have a 40 kilogram mass, 50 kilogram mass, 100 kilogram mass, 200 kilogram mass, and so on. And that would be your independent variable. You'd measure the acceleration. Now, an important thing here. If you look here, our experiments, you have two variables, an independent variable, net force, and a dependent variable, acceleration. You have to keep the mass constant, right? Because in your experiment, you keep everything else constant. So write down what your constant mass is here. So this number here should stay the same, yeah? Likewise, for our next experiment, acceleration versus mass, you're going to keep the net force constant. So write down what your constant net force is here, and you're going to do your experiment. So you're going to grab your data today in class, and then over the weekend, you can work on making the graphs for this. Or maybe during class today, you'll probably also have time too. All right? All right, good luck.